I created a product that I would want to buy. Sure. I created the product of, I'm going to Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom, I created what I love. And so I wanted it to really feel like this brand has been around for a really long time because it is kind of celebrating the Harlem Renaissance. Welcome to Securing the Bag, the Roots exclusive series that's all about work, entrepreneurship, and the secrets to success. Our guest today is Terry Johnson of the Harlem Candle Company, a luxury home fragrance brand that is known for its amazing scented candles that are inspired by the beauty of Harlem. Welcome, Terry. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. What was it about Harlem that made you say that this is what I want my business to represent? So I moved to Harlem and yeah, I just, became a student of, of history because it's so, you're surrounded by it. The street names, the monuments, the statues, all of the things that were like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm living in a place where all these fantastic things happen. Langston Hughes lived here and all the, and, and I've been to the house where he lived. We actually launched the Langston candle at the home where he lived. I've always really loved Harlem, the Harlem Renaissance and, and these people and these historic figures who've left so much of their work with us that is still super relevant today. And I love that all that some of the names of the candles are inspired, the Langston, you've got the Josephine. Mm -hmm. So what goes into, when you're thinking about a Josephine candle, what scent represents Josephine Baker? So it's it's sort of, um, I kind of like to reimagine. So for the Josephine candle, I tried to reimagine her boudoir. Um, and so she was such a celebrity at the time. She was this international superstar and she had so many fans. So I imagined her getting off stage and everyone's just giving her these bouquets of roses. So I imagined her putting roses in her boudoir. So there's beautiful Moroccan rose in that candle. And then I also imagined her drinking jasmine tea to keep her voice intact. So there's some jasmine notes in there. So it's really just, I have fun with it. One of the things that I, that I love and I've heard other people who love your candles is that the packaging is so beautiful that even when the candle's done, you don't want to get rid of, of yeah. the container. So what went into that thought process? How did you design the packaging? Well, honestly, I, I just, I created a product that I would want to buy. I created the product of, I'm going to Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom. I created what I love. And so I wanted it to really feel like this brand has been around for a really long time because it is kind of celebrating the Harlem Renaissance. And so you think of the 1920s and the 1930s. So I wanted the packaging to kind of have an art deco look to it. Even on the inside of our boxes, we have this really cool vintage print of the nightclub map of Harlem from 1932 that was done by illustrator E. Sims Campbell. But it's really just being able to celebrate the Harlem Renaissance and the culture throughout the candle, throughout the packaging, throughout the scent. And we want to make an experience where you really do feel like you're transported. So you sell your candles online, but you're also available in department stores like Macy's, like Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom. What is that? What was that process like for you? How do you walk into Bloomingdale's and say, hey, can you sell my candles? Well, I, they came to me. So that was wow. cool, okay. like all of them. But you know, I think people saw people probably asked, hey, you guys don't, you, you should carry the Harlem Candle Company. But yeah, I mean, they, they, they were interested in the brand. And, and then once they smelled the, smelled the candle, saw the packaging, understood the stories, they were like, oh yeah, yeah, come more, 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 more. So you had something pretty exciting happen. This year, the Purple Love Luxury Candle made Oprah's favorite thing list for 2023. We've written about the Oprah effect at The Root. And so I'd love to know just a little bit about what that has done for your business. How have things changed? It, definitely in terms of orders, our order volume has gone up. Um, that candle is available on both Amazon and on our website. Okay. And we actually allowed one of our stores in Harlem, a store Nilu, we allowed them to carry it as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's great visibility. Um, our social media has gone up. Everything is just, yeah, the Oprah effect is real. So you recently uh, launched the Harlem Perfume Company mm -hmm. in 2022. How did you know that that was the right time to scale your business? Because my customers kept asking for it. <laughs> they were like, literally, can you please make perfume? Turn this into a perfume. And I, and we listened, like when I tell you, I love them, I love them and I listened to them and they had been asking for years. And we, we also, we have room sprays for the Harlem Candle Company. And sometimes they're like, can we put this on our, no, it's for the room, it's for the, so it was just something that they have wanted. They've been asking for it for years. So it was really just yes. sheer demand. And because I'm already working with these award-winning perfumers who, who create fine fragrances, it was almost like, well, I think that's just, the, that's next. 